Kate Hooray Osmond is an American painter and installation artist based in Charleston, South Carolina. She exhibited her work in an exhibition called Light Shine Down in the winter of 2019 at the Art Museum. The exhibition featured works of all scale featuring these beautiful sweeping views, uh, aerial views, of locations around our area, including this painting called Barba Papa, which Kate so generously donated to the Art Museum's permanent collection following her exhibition. This painting catches the eye right away. The bubblegum pink that takes up the entirety of the center of the painting is contrasted so nicely with the soft, cool blue hues that are thinly layered across the top of the painting. And then you can't miss the bright shimmering gold leaf that runs across the entire foreground of the painting. We learned from Kate that Barba Papa contains an environmental message. What we're seeing in pink is the Cooper River, uh, which empties out to the Atlantic Ocean in Charleston. Kate is drawing our attention to that pink water. She wants us to think about it, what it means to us. Not only is it a resource for us that we need to sustain our lives, but it's also something beautiful. It's a joy to see and also to experience. It's so important that we protect our waters, protect our earth, so that future generations can enjoy um, what we enjoy today. And now we'll hear from the artist herself, Kate Hooray Osmond, as she explains her inspiration for the painting Barba Papa, as well as what motivates her work. Barba Papa is French for cotton candy and is the color of the river right behind me. It's also the name for a series of children's books that were originally written in French and I was fortunate enough to fall in love with one as a child. Children's literature and the wonder of being a child heavily influenced my artwork. I find that as I grow, I'm expected to make many, many choices and have my mind made up as far as my political platform, as far as my religion, as far as my wealth and future planning. And these choices all give an illusion of control. But once a choice is made, it's very difficult to also root for the other side. My work is tied to the feelings that a choice never needs to be concrete. A choice is to always wonder and to explore. And so I believe in the environment. I believe in the human race. I believe that every person is perfect and complete in themselves. And I believe that we can always strive to improve and to wonder. I believe in respect and I believe in pursuing the universe within our minds as well as the universe right outside our doors. The most beautiful way for me to explore my world is also the most unnatural. I prefer to see it from about a thousand feet up. So I hire a helicopter for my art practice and I travel the world and I see as much as I could possibly see. From a distance, the world is quiet and is dominated by very slow and very consistent motion. Motion of energy, motion of matter, and motion of life. And everything seems to have a niche. Now this, when magnified, can cause a great deal of pain, controversy, and anguish. A factory from far away is a glistening beacon, but up close you can see pollution and traffic and all kinds of things. But there are ramifications for everything. And so I think that the best way to move forward and to respect our world is to understand it as much as we possibly can and always be open to opportunity and always be open to more points of view than we originally had. 